Iran Israel News Now. Iran offsets domestic discontent with U.S. pro Palestine protests. The Iranian administration highlights U.S. and European pro Palestinian student rallies to boost its international image amid declining domestic support. On Tuesday, 150 Iranian parliamentarians supported the pro Palestine student movement and criticized police attacks on academics, expressing sympathy with American university students and professors. Recent Israeli military strikes in Gaza in reaction for the Iran-backed Hamas incursion of October 7 have sparked student-led pro-Palestinian rallies and sit-ins across the U.S. The massacre killed 1,200 individuals and kidnapped 250. Israel has retaliated relentlessly, killing over 33,000 Palestinians, according to Hamas. U.S. students are pressuring their colleges to disclose and withdraw investments in Israeli funds and firms delighting the Iranian government, which wants to cut ties with its main supporter, the U.S. Iranians have criticized the regime's support as disingenuous given its severe treatment of dissenting pupils. The 2022 Women, Life, Freedom Rebellion began with the death of Masa Amini in morality police detention and has since detained and banned hundreds from universities. Her incarceration for wearing her hijab incorrectly sparked a widespread revolt against the authorities that continues today. Nasir Hosseini, Khamenei's representative in Kogaluya and Boyaramad province, bizarrely claimed that the voice of the Islamic revolution is heard all around the world and that American university students are echoing Islamic themes. Even though most countries ban travel to Iran due to Iran's hostage diplomacy policy, Shiraz University President Mohammad Moazeni offered to let U.S. and European students and faculty expelled or threatened with expulsion during anti-Israel protests continue their education. The Iranian administration has historically supported Palestinian terror groups like Palestinian Islamic Jihad and Lion's Den to destroy Israel, its archenemy. Before World Press Freedom Day, UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak honored incarcerated Iranian Nobel Peace Prize laureate Narjas Mohammadi and Iran international host Puriya Zarati. I'd like to take this moment to pay tribute to all those suffering behind bars in the name of freedom and democracy, Sunak said Tuesday at the Society of Editors' 25th anniversary conference in London. He supported Mohammadi, who is serving a 12-year prison sentence in Iran, 154 lashes two years of exile, and other social and political constraints. Mohammadi has spoken out against the regime's human rights abuses and hijab law, despite her imprisonment. The Prime Minister also addressed Puriya Zarati's stabbing outside his London house last month. Leg injuries plagued Iran international journalist Zarati. This followed several Iranian intelligence threats against Iran international journalists. The conference brought together editors, academics, attorneys, and journalists to examine the media industry's biggest concerns. Sunak's views were part of that conversation. He stressed that the media strengthens democracy by holding governments accountable, exposing corruption, and elevating fresh perspectives. Freedom House says Iran has one of the poorest press freedom records, with over 70 journalists detained since the 2022 revolt. Masa Amini's death in morality police detention sparked Iran's largest rebellion since the Islamic Republic's founding. Two women reported her arrest and death.